Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the Mochi Maruzu, which is a hamster-themed virtual pet. This pet features a body that is a squishy, and part of the games include squishing its cheeks. Uh, this pet has been around for a while, and they've released a few different versions of it. What we have here is the Berry Pink Edition. It, again, it's not new, but it's new to me. I've never played one before and it is by Sega Toys. Right out of the box we have our squishy virtual pet and then some instructions and I'm I'm a little um, concerned maybe you can see it as well on the camera there's like this gray blob on the screen and it almost looks like dirt. Now one of the things that I've seen from others playing this online is that the squishy kind of breaks down. I'm um, just like any squishy, you know, that you'd get at the store, it kind of breaks down over time. Um, but I've seen these squishy cases that are on top of the electronic toy um, just get really tattered and kind of gross over time. And I'm kind of worried that that black is like coloring that's coming off of the eyes, but we'll just have to see. Maybe I'm just worrying <laughs> a little too far in advance. But we do have um, a little warning here. So we push the cheeks and we don't pull them and we don't push them down. Uh, and then here's the uh, instruction manual as well. And I'll just look at that later because nothing new, right? Well, you know, it's not actually brushing away as, as well as I would have hoped. You can kind of see where my finger could brush it away. I think it must have been some kind of powder that they had used to um, put on the squishy. And then on the back, I do already have a couple little, a couple little, um, I don't even know what you'd call them, imperfections in the squishy material, but I don't think that'll affect the gameplay or anything, so nothing to be upset about. This device takes three triple A's. All right, so it looks like our hamster has already gone to sleep without us. What a bummer. They really don't look too happy. Okay, so I can press on the nose to get to our options here. It's set up reminiscent to other virtual pets um, that I think we're all very familiar with. And let's change the time just so we can take a look around together. How about noon? Noon is a good time. All right, so here is our little hamster. They're very much so in distress. What can we do to help them out? So it looks like we've got plenty of options here. Let's try this one first. Oh, that, was, that wasn't a good choice. It didn't let me click on it. How about some, something to eat? <laughs> we can take a bath. So fun fact, you actually should never bathe a hamster in real life in water unless you're directed to do so by a veterinarian. So this isn't super accurate right off the bat. However, it is definitely extremely cute. Now, it seems like they're asking for something. Um, they've like put the same symbol on the screen a couple times. However, I can't tell what it is through my camera lens. So I think that's something I'll have to figure out on my own. But let's try to take a look at one more thing, which is the wheel. Oh, and they can't do that. Maybe because they're just a baby. Well, that's okay. More for us to look forward to next time we play this together. And speaking of the next time we play this together, I plan on playing this virtual pet in a Let's Play vlog, which I'm planning on that being the next video I upload. If not the next, then the one after that. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing so you don't miss that. You can also follow me on Instagram at lovepandabunny where I post updates about all of my virtual pets. 
Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you and your families are staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video.